To represent the character in Kotlin, card types are used. So we have learned about the numbers and we are going to learn about the character. So unlike Java, card types cannot be treated as numbers. Okay, so we have learned in Java, if you will go to the complete Java developer course, you will see the character video and you uh, and the character lesson and you see that characters are dealt according with an integer and as integers in the ASCII table while characters are not dealt inside uh, Kotlin so in order to create a variable of type character we start by a variable or you can specify it as a constant val. I will start by constant letter of type car. Okay, you specify it. You could make like this letter equal to K or you can directly put it like this. I prefer using this. Okay, now print, uh, uh, print what is the letter that we are going to print you can print the letter like letter let's run and see you see guys it printed from the character okay so in this way we are creating and using the characters you can't specify here the unicode of the of uh, of the letter like like this in Java okay you only can put the characters like these now and only one character okay in Java you can do something like that for, uh, like uh, you can specify 65 which refers to a capital A but in Kotlin it is a prohibited okay this is the character and it is not of double quotation it is of single quotation and you specify one one character and not two these are the characters you may uh, like encounter this uh, this data type but it is not very useful but we should uh, learn about it because uh, sometimes you may use this we have learned about the flow, the numbers and we have introduced these six uh, types the character variable and we are now going to learn about the boolean so the boolean data type has two possible values booleans have two possible values either true or false okay so i create a variable a value a constant value or a variable by the same i will call it as flag equal to true in this way i can create a value or i can specify its type by boolean okay now print in the same way i will use print flag okay let's run and see and here we go we have printed the boolean so in this way we are you know, we have created the boolean type uh, variable called or a constant called flag and we assign its value uh, to true you can assign either true or false okay so in this way we we uh, learned about booleans booleans are used in decision making statements this will be the discussed in later uh, lessons about the loops and the conditional statements so don't worry we are going to talk about them in deep 
later on and we encounter this booleans much more inside our videos.